everyone, this is the Mad Salvi letting you know that unless things are proven with Twitter posts and stuff like that and actual, have actual proof behind it, treat everything in this thing as a theory. I will mark try to mark certain things as news and theory and everything like that to kind of let you guys understand, but also, you know, use a critical mind. And I hope you do enjoy. As you know, I have made several uh, sections in several videos talking about um, Hex and his bad community. The community that has gone a little too far recently with their parasocialism, with their unicornism, their Fujoshiism, whatever you want to call it, they have gone a little too far and have actually started uh, cannibalizing each other, attacking each other, being aggressive towards each other, doing that kind of stuff towards each other, which isn't the best look for Hex or for any community for that matter. Now, what are we talking about here? We're talking about Hex. Who actually goes in here and starts saying stuff the new japanese viewers and all of the korean siblings thank you thank you for being here i appreciate it and i'll see you guys when i see you guys either tomorrow or the day after tomorrow i still believe that i am in a very privileged position i'm learning this i'm very grateful so thank you and i will try and uphold and protect you guys as much as i can there will be less and less tolerance for many different things so please be aware i know that i'm very silly but i want to also say that there will be much less tolerance now for anything too too parasocial or anything too trauma dumpy i will call you out i just need to i need to put my foot down a little bit stronger modding yes june is kind of silently modding as well everyone so watch out i might be adding another mod too very soon who will be silently modding so if your messages get deleted you're gonna know so that's good thank that is so a good step watching, Look, thank you that, to that is a good step i have a lot to say about hex and his bad moves like the what the time when he said he used someone's grandfather's ashes as, as potting soil and uh he threw a goldfish into the uh into the toilet i believe things like that uh that was kind of weird and inappropriate he said inappropriate things in the past he also it's taken him far too long to control this community when they have been doing these things i guess he thought they were going to auto control themselves but obviously they aren't uh, mature enough to do that so he actually had to step in probably because you know videos like mine and other people probably people actually in management or people in that were friends of his or people that were like you know whoever it was that would probably give, giving him an idea like look you, sh you should absolutely absolutely hit this down and just knock it out because this is not good it's not good for you he said that if you're too parasocial too trauma dumping he will call you out he also said to beware of another mod might be added soon this is good news it's a pity that his success was achieved only after harassment, but it's good that it happened at all. Uh, I hope that the situation doesn't get worse. Some livers are rock hard against parasocial behavior up to the simple and clean. You broke the rules, you get permabanned, have a nice day. And they're quite fine with the community devoted in a healthy, respectable way. Hope he'll be able to learn from this, at least in some degree. It's better than nothing. Hex says he will ban all parasocial fans that harass. Same problem as other male livers are seeing. When the parasocial viewers leave, the schizos become louder and more dangerous. This is, of course, due to this uh, big document that I went over last time where sicklings were doing, you know, a lot of S harassment. They were actually, you know, going against uh, Korean or Japanese uh super chatters trauma dumping talking about breeding talking about all that kind of stuff they were going really crazy about it he finally i think they just went too far and the fact that there is a i mean a lot of people ego search a lot of these people ego search nothing wrong with that they want to see what kind of um public perception there is of themselves which is understandable as a bigger vtuber that they are it's about time not sure what document you're talking about though but yeah it took him too long in my opinion way too long in my opinion but i'm glad that he's doing something at least I don't think it was management because they don't really have management, but maybe a friend told him, look, you have to, you have to put this, you have to put the reins on this. You have to make sure this doesn't go too crazy because you're already getting some bad PR. If you all remember the bit of a scandal drama, or whatever was happening around Millie was that um, at one point in time, she said that she's not Filipino, she's Canadian, which is fine because she wants a certain nationality, but that created a lot of people to go against her saying, you know, you don't like your own race, you don't like your own people, you don't like your own ethnicity, you don't like blah, blah, blah. I don't know what the reason was behind her saying that comment that she said, but it did turn a lot of people against it. And of course, you can watch my video on it. Uh, I did make a video on this whole thing. Uh, she did get a lot of hate from a lot of people in it. She got a lot of videos created against her. Uh, I created a video just, you know, pointing out the stuff, not necessarily against her or for her, but just pointing out the things that were happening to her uh, by the fandom. So here we have her responding to what's going on. We have her saying, I saw a YouTube video about this tweet. You're not a failure, just a difficult point in time right now. I did applaud her for the tweet. I applauded her for the specific tweet, which is a good tweet to have out there, a good message to have out there. I just wanted to address something about this. I've told my membership about this in my recent stream that I've been taking therapy to improve myself. And I felt sharing this quote as my therapist told me uh, made me emotional. 
I wanted to share it to those who needed to hear the same thing. It disappoints me that some people made this narrative that this tweet was twisted in a way that is related to how I hate my own race. I, I didn't do that on mine. I just said, no matter how much you dislike her, no matter how much you have had issues with her, this is a good message to have out there. Just being objective. I get a ton of hate for being objective and for not being, you know, like other VTubers who are in my same sphere, other, you know, cat VTubers and such like that, being all on the hate train and things like that. I'm not that type of person. I'm just more uh, rational and more objective, more uh, intellectual with the way I do my things. Uh, I'm not just, you know, fully just dogging on somebody, just to dog on them because I want to. I'm thinking she's talking about a, the Hero Hey one. Hero Hey does make things a little bit more extreme in some cases. Uh, and basing whatever you think, it fits your narrative. If I truly dislike my fan base, I wouldn't have streamed Tagalog before I took a break. Heck, I wouldn't even try to wake up early just to stream in their time zones. I also made more creative tag streams than anything. TLDR, stop making S up because you have nothing else to cover for your content and watching streams. And that's that's the thing that I want to mention, of course. Don't go and do this. Don't go and harass people for these type of things. I'll give her the benefit of the doubt. People did make that tweet and made a mountain out of a molehill and started a doom post. And that's where, that's where it ends. Minnie ought to be growing some thick skin if she ever wants to continue moving forward. Exactly. As a content creator, you have to have a thick skin. This isn't the first time she has ever felt bothered by criticism or hate towards her branch. Case in point, her whole spiel about any color not being a black company. In fact, it was because of her whole spiel that any color was what got her into this point. People now only see her as the ardent needy defender, and that has been proven wrong so many times. This was further solidified by her wait what happened tweet towards Selene, which low-key felt like a total jab against Selene for not acquiring permissions. Yeah, she kind of did the, the whole hate train is of her own doing. Sometimes it's best not to talk. Sometimes it's best not to say things because you will end up hurting yourself sometimes, especially when you get the big viewership and the big uh, spotlight that she has on her. Millie made a tweet in Tagalog. My guess is just, I don't know, some people are saying it's to pander to the Tagalog fan base. It's to pander and say that, you know, she isn't a hater. Uh, you know, she isn't a hater. She speaks Tagalog. It could very well be that way. You guys make up your decision on that. What she says down there, Seems like being wholesome on Twitter is not allowed anymore because when I'm wholesome, it means I despise you. Life is really hard. And she says, uh, let's kiss. Let's all just kiss. Why did she suddenly start tweeting in Tagalog instead of in English? Is she trying to win back her PH fans, her Filipino fans? Does she, doesn't she realize that in Filipino, in PH, Philippines, she's more hated than Alira or Vox? She likely is aware that she's hated, which is exactly why she's tweeting this. Yes, it might be something to kind of uh, like, hey, I'm like you guys. Hello, fellow Tagalogs. I'm like you guys. Hello, fellow, fellow Filipinos, people who speak Tagalog. I'm here. I can speak your language. It could very well be one of those cases. And if it is, Millie, just stop. It's it's too transparent. It just becomes something that's you're, another thing that someone's going to criticize you for. Another thing that's going to get you hate. Just stop while you're ahead. Well, you're not very ahead, but stop while you're trying to be ahead. Doesn't exactly help much. Guess because she said she's Canadian, gathering favor from speaking Tagalog. Eh. At least from what I've seen from those Facebook Facebook comments, Millie isn't is mostly taboo now in PH. Really wouldn't talk about her unless it's shoved in our faces. But yeah, there are people who do hate her. I have never followed Millie Parfait ever, but seeing the tweet as a fellow Filipino just sounds like s my toxic parents would say. Yeah, dripping with the most obvious guilt tripping self victimization tactics, and that's not going to turn out well. It's not going to turn out well. Millie asking for validation from Twitter X is a terrible idea. She'll only attract bad audience with the next zero monetary gain from it. She should learn from another Filipino content creator who got canceled by the VTuber community some time ago. Except that not everyone is happy with you. Some will avoid you out of fear of getting canceled. Value the people who stayed with you. Explore and make more content. That's what I do. I had a former friend who tried to cancel me, uh, who is still doing their best to try to cancel me. I don't, and I just keep, I'm just continuing to move on. The best way to, uh, to show haters, uh, you know, the door is to actually be successful and actually be happy with what you do. And that's what I'm doing to all my haters. I'm just being happy with what I do. Don't hit Millie. I wish someone would guide her uh, to a better path. I would wish so too. I wish someone would like help her with the PR stuff. She's not very good uh, in the PR sense of everything. So um, that's just it. She's just hurting herself more. Twitter does what Twitter does, but uh, Hirohei responded to Millie Parfait's tweet about his video. It was more than likely his video because his I made a video of it as well, of all the kind of hate that she was getting due to her, her comments before and how, you know, a lot of Filipinos were like, oh, you don't think you're Filipino anymore. You think you're Canadian, that type of thing. Uh, but this is a bit of an update on this whole situation, which I talked about. 
It's like, stop making stuff up. And Hirohe made a video that says, Nidisanti VTuber calls me out. Nidisanti EN VTuber is very mad at me. It's about two minutes long, and I won't go into it because, you know, it's it's, it's a lot of uh, drama for drama's sake. I don't know, if, you know, a lot of people say that about my stuff, but I try to at least give some news. I agree with him, made a video about what other people were saying. First, it's not really a tip for Tad if he started it. Second, Millie has clearly been going through some personal things lately, of course. And that's why I said, you know, don't attack her. This seems like she's going through some really serious stuff. Just being, she's done a lot of negative things. Don't get me wrong. She's done a lot of things to be criticized for. Don't get me wrong. But this was not it to criticize her for specifically and like try to create too much hate. Of course, it brings back a lot of things mentioned, like I mentioned before, about a lot of people saying uh, things about her saying she's Canadian, not uh, Filipino, that type of thing. So it'll bring back a lot of hate, of course. Uh, drama tuber gonna drama people don't like Hirohei. A lot of people don't like Hirohei. I don't have any problems with him at all. Uh, he's just doing the same kind of thing I do, just kind of doing updates and you know, kind of getting people up to speed on what's happening on. And Millie didn't like it, so of course, Millie's gonna be Millie and she's going to go and post and be aggressive about it and then you know, try to garner sympathy. Shu just already had a 3D debut and nobody talked about it. Even 4chan didn't make a thread about it until 14 hours later. Even I just found out about it not live too long ago. His CCV couldn't even go beyond 30k, 28k. Still, let's just be 100% objective here. That is good uh, CCV in general. I mean, if you look at Finana, Finana did 32. Then you had Ollie's uh, Zombie Idol 3D Showcase at 30k as well. So uh, Shu has never been like, oh my god, 100k all the time. He is... Definitely not a Kuzuha in the EN sphere, so it is normal for this to be that way. Of course, it sucks that they didn't really promote his stuff too much. Like, even Advent is getting promoted quite a lot more. Even Justice and just the small time that they've been around have gotten promoted more than Shu has. And that's a shame to the talent. As I say, I am for the talents, not for the agency. I want the talents to have their happiest moments that they can in their life, not the agency. I wish they weren't in the agency, but if they love it there and they want to continue to be there, more power to them. And I am not going to criticize them for something like that that they want to do in their lives. But still, oof, this is a bad one for uh, for Shri Yumino and for um, Finana's 3D. Finana actually did rather well. I mean, I didn't expect 32K for her for her 3D as CCV. Uh, kind of lost some hype in my opinion since we have seen him 3D twice, the one with the AR Live and the most recent uh, concert. Uh, really... That explains why I thought it was already happened something like a week ago. It was a Summer Jam concert in the AR Live that did it. It ruined it. Concerts they did already ruined the 3D reveal hype and it sucks for Shu. It really does. Like I said, they could have absolutely made it better for the talents, but they didn't. Well, I'll be honest, 30K isn't exactly awful. Granted, he's a Luxia member, so maybe he could have gotten a bit more, but it wasn't a flop either, despite Niji kind of sucking advertising it. That said, I'm guessing Doki will probably double it whenever she gets her 3D, at which speed she's gonna be getting in like three weeks. Uh, Niji did make a tweet on the main Twitter account. Shu made a tweet on his own account and a thank you tweet after the 3D debut. So they did a couple of things. Uh, the people that were on audio support team where Song Hara also tweeted about it, which Shu reposted. So there was some things here. This was done on July the 12th. This was also, you know, uh, 3D debut that, that he did. They didn't do as much of a media blitz as they deserved, like as he deserved. He did a thank you post here, which is amazing to see. But it, I, think pe I think people also, one big thing that's happening here is that um, you have people being like, oh, shoo, he should be getting so much more. He should be getting so like 50, 60K when 32K, like 28K or whatever it was, it's not bad. It's not bad at all. Super Chats, $10,000 for uh, Pomus, but that, that's, that's Pomu again, though. Pomu had humongous energy. And still, $9,000 for a 3D that wasn't really pushed very much by the people that they were supposed to be pushing is not bad. Surprisingly decent. Am I wrong? Honestly, his 3D debut camera walk is messy, but it was fun, and I enjoyed it except the Luxium Uki part. But yeah, people had fun. People enjoyed. Just let it be what it's going to be. Niji Sanji is continuing with the weird Niji Sanji EN, Niji Encounter thing. Now they have Claude Clawmark and Alban Knox with Shade. Uh, a perfect summer track with exhilarating sound and catchy melodies. The song is produced by 100 Kai Outro, Auto, a popular Vocaloid producer and arranger in Japan. Also co-written by David Simon, who has written numerous songs for top artists in Japan and South Korea. So they're getting good talents in there. The song may be good, uh, but it is a attempt at them trying to get garner more support, garner more everything. I'm going to mute it, of course, but we're just going to take a look at uh, the, the project promo that's there, the teaser. Uh, at least they have a little bit more visuals going around with the teaser. Uh, they're having, you know, Alba Knox, 
Cloud Clawmark. Like, he's getting support, but the gir other girls in TTT aren't. Like, the girls in TTT aren't at all. It's just, that is one thing, one criticism I will put in there. Uh, they're giving support to Claude, but they're not giving support to other people like, you know, uh, Vivi or Kunai which is a strange thing to see. Yeah, let's freaking go. People are happy. Uh, you guys can't do this to me. It's my boys. And let the people be happy. Like I always say, let the fan base be happy. I have my questions about what's going on. I have my, it, my you know, questioning of how everything is doing. I'm just like, why are they doing this? That kind of stuff. They've been doing, you know, third signal, single, what's waiting for us. And then they have this one. They're doing one about a, every month during the summer. So I, I hope the production quality is there. I hope. It goes well for the livers because the livers, like I said, are the ones that deserve support, not the not the actual company because the company just does this to try to get more money. But the livers are actually putting their heart out and actually singing and actually producing stuff. Here we have Armchair Bro doing some um, classes earlier, uh, according to this person 14 hours ago. The fandom operates like a, you know what, self-cleaning, self-regulating. It's only part of a larger entity. Irritants are regularly washed out by new contents. Hostile, but not malicious. And next, he goes on to uh, say that the tourists are like like the, uh, the other cells, the male cells. Uh, the egg cell is something that will resonate with you personally. Curiosity and engagement are surrounding the tourists. So yeah, that's how you get a larger audience. You have to get the tourists in there. Uh, and it's kind of funny. It says, as one can imagine, armchair streams are ultra informative and quite funny too. Consider hopping on or watching the VODs. Why did he use that image? Never mind, my dirty mind. Though you don't have a dirty mind, it's exactly what it looks like. Reading is hard, eh, buddy? Armchair is a real one. I hope he gets more support one day. He is going to get a lot of support. He deserves the support that he gets because he is he is an actual PR uh, professional that knows what they're talking about. Uh, I only know, you know, surface level stuff. But he definitely knows a lot about PR. So, you know, armchair is going to be doing what they're going to be doing. What are you doing, step armchair? Clint out on the stream when this was on and very confused. Armchair is crazy in the best way. He's right, though. My mind has been corrupted by fear and hunger. And when I saw this, I first thought is, isn't this uh, Sylvian Sigil? Sigil? You're cooked. He's cooked. But yeah, people are, are, are putting this out there. On uh, uh, the, the fandom is like a, a self-regulating thing. Well, it tends, it tends to be a self-regulating sometimes. Sometimes not so much. I mean, it can be, uh, but then we have, you know, the extreme parts of the fandom that prevent the self-regulation, the uh, cultish behavior that some uh, fandoms have that prevent uh, self-regulation or any kind of criticism to actually go through and have any meaningful impact on the content that is put out there. On to some news about a small VTuber group slash agency slash group, whatever it is, uh, Vcrypt is about a group of cryptids uh, and the unbelievable. They have, you know, this is their uh, Vcrypt family, all these wonderful creators here, cryptids. And I'm very happy that there is a group like that out there. But this isn't just about the group. This is uh, about Snowy Saber, who got either kicked out or decided not to be a part of the group. Let's take a look. As of July 9th, 2024, Snowy Saber is no longer a member of Vcrypt. Decision was made by Vcrypt management. It was management that decided to do this due to inappropriate comments made by Snowy on an alt account. So they were even looking at her alt account and they saw that she made inappropriate com comments. And that's kind of a weird one for me. If it's not tied to your direct account, then I don't, uh, I mean, every, any company can, can do this and that's fine if they feel it's inappropriate, but it, you shouldn't be hurt by, you know, something you say on your alt account. That's why you have an alt account. So it won't affect your main brand account. As a group, we do not tolerate any inappropriate comments regarding uh, sexuality, disability, race, etc. This group was made as a safe space for talents and communities alike. We're a group of diverse and open-minded VTubers. And we do not agree with any of the statements made by Snowy. We hope you continue to support us as a group and all of our talents. Seeing is believing, Vcrypt, what exactly happened, who, which group. Basically, Snowy, um, one of their, Snowy Saber, one of their talents was removed. And let's see uh, what's going on and see if they have an, any actual comment on this. And here it is. As I always like to do, I like to see both sides when they are available. Management said that she said inappropriate things. Snowy is refuting it. She said, this will be my, my one and only thing I will say about this matter before I move on. I am being blamed for a lot of things online by someone that I have not done. I will not go into detail, but if you see anything dragging my name directly or indirectly, it is not true. And who is Snowy? Snowy Saber is this creator here. They were a part of the cryptid crew of, um, from what it looks like, they were doing just a regular thing. They were just doing, having their fun. They are a cryptid. They were a part of, of uh, this 
vCrypt agency and they're just enjoying themselves having a good time you know uh and then they get dragged in through the mud uh through what vcrypt said that they did inappropriate comments i don't know if someone took it out of context or if someone was actually trying to de defame her but either way uh she refutes it she said she never said any of those types of things vcrypt isn't showing any proof of what's going on so i don't know you guys make a decision. Now, a bit of a bidding war is happening between a VTuber and uh, Asmund Gold here. You can bid on this every day until the auction July 19th. We'll be adding a new item to go up for the auction. That will end during the auction link below. What is this auction about? Uh, it looks like it's a charity thing. Uh, more item information on this website. It's building bidding on the Elden Ring poster. Buy tickets to attend the auction live. A charity auction from Dog VA. So far, it's raised 5000 as of this time, July 19th. It's going, to, it's going to be over, and they have six days left for everything there. The exclusive merch is right here. Those were donations. The exclusive merch is all down here. The plush, the auction t-shirt, the auction crew neck, that kind of thing. It's going to be a lot of auction things being auctioned out. Miyazaki signed Elden Ring poster, currently at $10,100 for the bid. Amazing. Fifi and uh, Jacksepticeye were entering into a bidding war, as you saw from the very beginning. They did enter into a bidding war. They're kind of trying to outbid each other. It's all for charity, so that's perfectly fine. You know, it's just funny uh, that Fifi was like, back in the day, it's like, Jack sent the guy, admit defeat, and, um, you know, take out loans and worry about paying them back later. I just hit my limit, according to them. And then, uh, remember how I said, I admit defeat, draw a sword, I lied, and she's going and she's fighting Jack sent the guy. And that is where we get to the current Tiltify thing of $10,100 as of 17 hours ago, as of the recording of this video. It's just a fun little thing that they're doing. A fun little... Uh, Battle for the ages, so to speak, from a VTuber and a large creator. So that's always fun. It's always fun to have these things pop up. This is a small meme, but it's a meme related to Pekora, which is, my dear God, do not tell me the bunny girl just said the name of the evil rainbow. If Pekora were to change jobs, what jobs do you want to do? What kind of work will you be doing? Please don't say that you want to go to continue to what you're doing now. Uh, if I were to change a job, right, maybe need to sign to your Vispo? Since they're the biggest companies, that's what makes sense. But it's like... Having it's gonna be funny that they're gonna have the war the war criminal uh, Pekora go after and and uh, quote unquote reform the things that are happening inside of Nidisanji. That would be a hoot. That would be hilarious. That would be like that would be a crazy thing to see, honestly. And if Pekora did do that, I think um, I don't I don't know if if the JP management would be able to handle her to be honest, because she is the crazy uh, Usagi, the crazy freaking uh, Pekora that we know and love. Hello everybody, another day, another VTuber showcase of another wonderful VTuber who deserves some looks, some views, just a little bit of attention. And here we have Ame Gakita, cat catual VTuber. Uh, they are an old cat VTuber, as they mentioned here. This is the things they, you know, they're mentioning, you know, all these days of, uh, from Chris the Hollow Simp, Hollow Pro Simp, you know, all these things. They are active on Twitter. They're also active on their YouTube channel. They describe themselves. As an old man cat jewel VTuber, gamer, ENGJP, so this is a simple gaming VTuber who likes to chat, as well as talking about different random topics. They do gaming streams, which they do. Recently, they've been doing Zenith Zone Zero. They do Wuwa. They do all these other ones. Currently talking about topic is interested in me that they're, they're interested in. They do chatting topics, the random chats. They pop those in as well. To a discussion about them and giving takes on the topic and seeing what lessons we can learn from the stuff. I've seen their stuff. It's, it's actually really good. Free to ask me during stream about simple Japanese things and other things such as that. They have this also on their Twitch. On Twitch, they have 93 followers. And they their Twitch isn't actually... I, I don't know if it is because they do multi-streaming, because I think they do multi-streaming. Not sure if they no longer hold VODs. And these are the only, uh, you know, only the highlights have been kept there. Yeah, only the highlights have been kept. It looks like he doesn't keep the VODs, but I do know he multi-streams. So uh, just letting you see a little bit of that and a little bit of their voice. Hello there, how's your day? I'm Megakita, the old cat VTuber here. Do you need some drink? Water? Tea? Coffee? Or do you prefer me, Leku? Dotilama in this year. So yes, that is them. They, like I said, have random chats talking about current topics. They have uh, recently had things like, uh, like I mentioned, Zen Zone Zero. Um, you know, other things like that popping up. While they're playing, you know, while they're doing this, they do, you know, then it's on zero. They do all these other things while they're doing the random chats. So those are always fun. And you can see them. I uh, usually, I believe it's on, 
Western time zone, it's in the mornings. It's like pretty early in the mornings, like eight or nine Pacific Standard Time around there. So it's their afternoon. I think they do it after work. And then they, you know, they get some rest after that. So of course, take a look at them. I will be putting all of their socials down below. And thank you again, Amigakita, for allowing me to put you in the showcase. Thank you all for right now. Of course, comment, like, and subscribe down below. Thank you for being here. Of course, I love having the conversations with you guys. I love having these things with you guys. And I do appreciate it whenever you guys do comment. Take a look at my description for my socials. There's a Discord. There's Twitter. There's other places that you can check me out, Twitch, etc. And also check on your screen right now because there might be a video that you might enjoy. Thank you.